All right, guys, 21.3 and 21.4. We're gonna run through this. Totally dependent on your ability here. We're gonna run through it for someone who's definitely gonna finish under the time cap, being competitive, trying to finish that top 10% of the open. Really hard to predict where that's gonna be. You definitely need to finish this workout though and get some uh, decent weights up there for the guys and the gals. So starting out, you got 15 front squats, 95, 65. You got the 30 gymnastic movements, starting with toes of bar and then 15 thrusters, 95, 65 again. We'll repeat that three times. There's a rest in between each. We're gonna talk about a little bit of the strategy. So front squats is obviously a light weight. Look for our tips and tricks, but we want you to move smooth through that. You don't have to initially rush the reps, but you definitely wanna be unbroken on those and go. Right after that, you're gonna hop in those toes of bar. We're really gymnasty and great at those. We're gonna recommend three sets. We like the descending rep scheme on those, like a 12, 10, eight. It helps mentally. Uh, it makes you wanna go a little bit faster on those back end of those sets. With those, you're quick shaking out in between reps uh, and going. If you're not so good at the gymnastic movements, then start out with sets you know you can hang on to the whole time. If you gotta go sets of five on the toes of the bar even less, that's okay, just start out with that. Don't come out with a big set and then fry out because this grip workout is super grip intensive and it's gonna catch up with you later on. Back to the thrusters on that. If you're good at thrusters, you want a competitive time, you have to keep it unbroken there. Be smooth and go. You know you get your minute rest after that, so you can spike that heart rate, get it elevated, because after that you can literally sit down if you want for 30, 45 seconds before you get ready to go again. Part two, you rest that minute, back at it. Front squats, 15, smooth, unbroken there again. Control your breathing, back to the bar. Again, um, if you're really good, we're gonna recommend maybe two big sets for that toes of bar, for that the chest of bar, maybe at 18, 12, if you're really, really good and you wanna send it on those bar muscle ups, the chest of bar, 18, 12. Uh, here again, if you went maybe sets of six to eight on the toes of the bar, you could try something similar on the chest of the bar. Just come out with something you think you can hang on to the entire time there. Very grip intensive. Back to the thrusters, hopefully keeping that unbroken. If you had to break up the first set of thrusters, you'll probably have to break up the set. Second set, just try to keep it similar set and uh, time domain on those thrusters. Be aggressive though, getting back to those thrusters. Do not rest a bunch before getting the bar. Make yourself pick it up. Give what you got because you have that built-in rest coming right through those thrusters. Last part, back to the front squats. Try to keep it either unbroken or as big a set as you can. To the bar muscle ups, which is the bulk of this workout. This is where everyone's gonna win or lose this workout. Whether you're an elite athlete trying to keep a huge set like 12, 10, eight, or even 18, 12 for the best in the world. Or if you're just going like six sets of five, five sets of six. Or if you gotta bring it back to sets of three, you can get done in sets of three relatively quick if you're disciplined about your rest. Just know your capacity on those. Your grip's gonna be really, really fried here uh, and give it all you got. Especially on those 20 to 30, really dig deep and push through there. Don't fall off the bar, uh, but get as close as you can to redlining and falling off the bar without actually doing that. Those last 15 thrusters are really, really gonna hurt. Stay as mainly tough as you can. Obviously, if you have to dr drop it, as few as breath as possible and get back to it. I know it hurts there, but push through because every second is really gonna count in this workout. There's gonna be a ton of bunched up scores there and probably the 10 to 15 minute range. And so whatever you can do to shave off some time is gonna make a huge difference in your score. Right when you're done, you're gonna be totally fried with your grip, which matters for the complex and your legs, which matters for the complex as well. So what we're gonna say is a great goal is probably 80% of your 1RM clean and jerk. So if you max out a clean and jerk at 300. If you get close to 240, maybe more like 75%, so that 225 to 240 range, is probably where you're gonna be at for your max attempt. Uh, from there, within the two, first two minutes, we want you to get you definitely moving uh, to hit a weight. For males, we'd recommend throwing off those 95s and uh, going at 135. Ladies, hitting at least 95. You can go hit the whole complex if you want, or we recommend the deadlift hang clean into the jerk. For that hang clean, if you are gonna end up hang squat cleaning at later weights, go ahead, hit the hang squat clean there. If you're gonna power as long as you can, it's gonna be dealer's choice if you wanna hang power that or not. Obviously that counts. From there, for men, if your goal or weight is in the 240 range, after 135, you might try at 185. You can go again, just a deadlift, hang clean and jerk, or if you just wanna be safe, fill out the whole complex, you can do that as well, obviously. Depending on your conditioning level and fitness, you really wanna plan on four to five attempts. Some of you really fit guys uh, that can recover quickly, especially within Mayhem Athlete, hopefully you can, maybe six attempts. It's really tough to say because it's individual basis. I would not plan on seven attempts though. But by the time you build up from 185, maybe you go to 225 or 205, you probably wanna start hitting the full complex there uh, and getting ready to go. But that time you probably have a couple minutes left. 
where you gotta decide if you wanna go two more attempts or just one attempt and done. Uh, and again, if your goal weight was 245, you might go that 135, 185, I'd start adding the one pound plates or half pound plates just to give you that little bit of bump. Why not do it? You're gonna be able to hit it most likely. I doubt one pound will make a difference. You go 226 and from there, see what you got left in the tank. Maybe you need to go 241, maybe you got 246, something like that. Uh, this is a really fun workout. Like we say here, we lift fatigue all the time, literally almost every single day. So you guys got this, you can rock it out. Uh, I'm really excited to see how well people do and get after it. Good luck. Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna talk through 21.3 and 21.4 for the equipment free version. This workout is for time, 30 air squats, 30 V-ups, 30 thrusters with a PVC or stick. Rest one minute and then we're going those 30 air squats, 30 dips, 30 thrusters again. Rest one minute, 30 air squats, 30 handstand push-ups, 30 thrusters. Once you finish that, you're gonna have two minutes of rest, so a little bit different than the other versions. And then you're gonna go into an AMRAP five minutes 20 alternating pistols, and 20 alternating freestanding shoulder taps in a handstand. So this workout is gonna have a couple sticking points. The first one I see is those dips. So in our setup for the dips, something I wanna think about is getting a surface that's high enough that I don't have to lift my legs up and also add core into that on the dip. So I can be fully extended with my knees bent, that's fine, and starting with smart, small sets to start. These dips are much harder than you think they're gonna be. So we're thinking fives, fours, and chipping away, also keeping in mind that we have those kipping handstand push-ups coming up. The air squats and the thrusters were definitely shooting for unbroken. I would recommend on those PVC stick thrusters, getting that front rack really warmed up so that you're not fighting for that position because the lighter weight of that PVC can sometimes be difficult to get into a position. When you guys get to those kipping handstand push-ups, the arms are definitely gonna be fatigued. So same idea here as the dips is we want to start out with smart steps on, sets on the handstand push-ups and really utilize our hips and legs to get a good kipping motion for those kipping handstand push-ups. We don't do a ton of kipping handstand push-ups in the programming, so make sure you get the tempo done before, before you get into the workout. You have your timing down so it feels comfortable. When you get into that set, you can feel good about that. On the next part, so we got that two minute rest and then the AMRAP five minutes, the pistols, we're gonna need a really good ankle mobility warm up there so our ankles are nice and ready. If you guys wanna wear lifters, that'd be a good um, tip there to use. And then the freestanding handstand, this I can tell you for sure, cause I practiced when I kicked up, the first one's gonna be the hardest one. You're not gonna have good timing, you're not gonna have good tempo. So get a nice good warm up, feeling out that tempo of those shoulder taps. We're shooting for fast movement, but not so fast that you're out of control. You wanna be nice and controlled there. This workout is gonna be so much fun, so make sure you get after it, have some fun, give your best effort. You guys got this. Hey guys, what's up? We're talking to 21.3 and 21.4 for foundations. So this workout is four time. We're going 15 air squats, 30 sit-ups, and then 15 thrusters with a PVC or stick. Rest one minute, 15 air squats, 30 dumbbell rows. So if you got two dumbbells, you can use two. If you only have one, that's fine. 15 thrusters, rest one minute, and then 15 air squats, 30 push-ups, and 15 thrusters. Once you finish that workout, similar to the other styles, you're gonna go right into the barbell where you're climbing to a max at one deadlift, one clean, one hang clean, and one push press. On this foundations workout, guys, pick something, a movement that you feel comfortable with the range of motion that you can keep moving. This workout is all about consistency. So something that you're comfortable, you can keep going, Nice big sets here, those air squats we can aim for unbroken, so if we need to sit to a chair, that's fine. And on those thrusters. Same idea on the thrusters, if you guys are using a PVC or stick, get that front rack nice and warmed up so we can rack it as best we can and we're not fighting for that elbow up position. On those dumbbell rows, if you've got two, let's use them. You can go two at the same time. If you've got one, find a nice setup that's comfortable, that you can get a nice good row with one arm before you switch to the other arm. Make sure you guys, the push-ups, that's definitely where I see like that's gonna be the hardest part of the workout, those 30 push-ups. Break them up smart from the beginning and make sure to scale down when needed to something that you're comfortable with. Once you get to the barbell, this is where we can have some fun, use our training to work on good positioning on the deadlifts, the clean, if you need to power clean, we can power clean, hang power clean, and push press, really using those legs to drive that push press bar up. And just be smart here, make some smart jumps, 
know where your max is at, and if you need to scale down, if you know, understand that's gonna be a little bit less than what your max is, that's okay. But we're shooting for good positioning and having a great time. You guys got this, get after it.